First you want an adjustable set of clippers, adjust for length, and then you're going to do a reverse fade, so for me I'm going to start with a four guard, and have this extended. And you extend it on the side? Yes. This is extended, and this is flat. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to extend it. I'm going to start up here at the crown of the head, so I don't have this funny looking mushroom top thing going on. I'm going to start at the contour of my head and then slowly lift out. So. To know what number the guard is, it actually says on each one. So this one is number five. So it'll just stay at the front. This is the one my husband just used. Number four. I'm just going over this part with the four extended, so now I'm just going to bring that down to flat and keep about the same point. And it's just to even out all these little stray stragglers right here, keeping the same motion. starting to look like a gorilla. Alright, so I just finished with the number four guard just to keep the clippers working longer. Just brush them off real quick and get all the loose hair off of them. That way the motor doesn't heat up too fast and jam up on you. Moving on to the three guard. Okay. Once again with this fully extended. And we're just going to slightly move down from where I was with the four. And are you going up and out? Yes. We just finished up with the number three extended, so now we're going to flatten it out and go just about an eighth of an inch below where we just finished up at. With the three now, so we're going to go on to the number two guard and have this fully extended again. Yeah, here we go. How are you doing this one? Just all of them gradually move down about a quarter to an eighth of an inch below the previous guard. And all this is doing is like pre fading it for you before you even move on to your zero. That way when you do move on to your zero, you don't get that funny looking line going. And for me, with the set of clippers I have, I don't even need to go on to the zero. Extended, and now we're just going to flatten it out and go again. So this is after we finished with the two guard. We've done the four, the three, and the two, and that's the progress. Moving on now to the one guard. Have the clippers extended. And then the same process, just going around. Is this all the way to the bottom now? What's that? Yes. With the one guard, start all the way at the bottom. And then for me, I'm going to try to work it out about two inches up. Alright, so now we're going to go onto the one and close it. And one again. And where do you start at the below the hair? Below the hair, go through and flick out.
You don't want there to be any line, so you start below the hair. Once you get to the hair, you start flicking yeah. it out a bit. Like if, like if my fingers are the hairline, and you're trying to get a line out, start down here, and as you come through, like it'll come through the guard and then slowly lift out, just like that. So if this is the side of your head, profile-wise, and here's the hairline, start below it, and as you come through, lift up with the guard, so it's just doing like that, and that'll fade out a line. So a lot of clipper sets don't have this little green one. This is a half guard. It's between like a zero and a one. So if you have it, it's perfect for getting a line out. If not, you can just fully extend your clipper guards like so. I prefer to use the half guard. So I'm going to extend it, and same as before, start below the line and just work all the way around. The bottom of your hair? Yep. Alright, so with the clipper still running, we just finished up with the half guard extended, so now we're going to close it. And it's now flat, so same thing as before. Only now, I'm using this to get a line before I even make one. Instead of like they do at a barber shop where they make a line and try to fade off of that. This prevents that having to happen. It goes all the way around. So we started with a four. As you can see, it's faded down all the way around without a line. So now we're doing touch ups like the stray hairs on the top that come out, kind of stick out like that, or whatever. We're going to go around with the five, which is one size higher than the four, and extend it and just lightly go through. The motion is going to be about like that to take out any little crown or mushroom thing going on we got. So here we go. For the top of my hair, I'm not going to cut it right now because it's pretty short for the way I like it. However, depending on how long you want it, a number four will give you about a half inch of hair on top. If you look at the guard from a flat angle, how much this sticks up is how long your hair is going to be in a vertical plane. And a lot of times it will push your hair over and it will chop it at an uneven angle. So it will actually be a little bit shorter than what the guard is. So if you want about an inch or so of hair, the biggest guard they have is an 8. This is an ear guard. This one is for the right ear. So this is my right ear. You start at the back, under the ear, and come over the top, and it looks like this. You keep in mind, I just faded my hair, so that's why it's not really cutting anything right now. Left ear guard, once again, start behind the ear. Okay, so with the ear guards, you'll have one side that's short and one side that's long. So put the short side on the bottom, unless you're trying to look funky. But <laughs> put the short side on the bottom, start behind your ear, and come up and through. So for the top, you can either use your longest guard, or depending on if you want it shorter. Some people like twos, whatever. I like my hair kind of long, so this number eight guard would leave me with about an inch of hair, which I don't like. So I'm not going to trim anything off the top for now. However, if you want your hair longer than an inch, you can use a comb which is, I don't know where, thanks to my kids. Here we go. <laughs> you can use a comb, bring it through, and then whatever length you want, you'll bring the comb through and have like a little bit sticking up right here and just take your clippers and run over it. And it's probably better to have someone else do it so that it doesn't come out uneven. Like I would have my wife do it so that she could make it level 